Hey guys, in this lesson we will talk about evolution, introduction and chemosynthetic theory of evolution. This is presented by me, Yogita Khandelwal. Origin of universe. So evolution means the study of history of life forms, like how we originated, how the life forms on earth originated, for which we have to study how our earth, stars and the universe originated. So first talking about origin of universe. The universe is about 20 billion years old. So our universe is 20 billion years old. Thermonuclear explosion theory also called Big Bang theory explains the origin of universe. So the Big Bang theory explains the origin of universe and this theory only explain that our universe is 20 billion years old. Now, Big Bang theory is given by Abel Lamiter. So, the scientist which gave theory, this theory is Abel Lamiter. It talks of a singular huge explosion that is unimaginable in physical terms. It is so huge that it is unimaginable. So, it, 20 billion years old our universe and it is given by Big Bang theory. Now, origin of Earth. So, after the origin of universe, it expanded and temperature came down. So, expansion occurred and due to which temperature came down, hydrogen and helium formed later. Gases condensed and formed the galaxies. So, after formation of universe, because of condensation of gases, formation of galaxies occurred. And Earth originated 4.5 billion years ago in the Milky Way galaxy. So, our Earth is present in Milky Way galaxy. So, it originated 4.5 billion ago in the Milky Way galaxy. There was no atmosphere on early Earth that it is now. We know we have atmosphere now, but it was not present at the time of origination of Earth. And life on Earth originated 500 million years after the origin of Earth. That is almost 4 billion years back. So, universe originated 20 billion years ago. Earth originated 4.5 billion years ago. And life on Earth originated 4 billion years ago. That is 500 million years after the origin of Earth. So, just remember these three origination because it's very important. Now, chemosynthetic theory of origin of life. It is proposed by A.I. Oparin of Russia and H.B.S. Haldane of England. Oparin and Haldane. And Haldane was originally of England but later settled in India. And uh, this chemosynthetic theory of origin of life is also called chemical evolution or modern theory of origin of life. So, it is based on concept of primary abiogenesis that means life initially originated abiogenetically from non-living then ever by biogenesis. So initially what happened that life originated from non-living things but once life originated it always originated from living only. So initially by abiogenetically from non-living but once it originated then ever by biogenesis. So, life originated and diversified in three steps. So, modern theory of origin of life can be explained in three steps. Step 1 is chemogeny that is chemical evolution. Step 2 is biogeny that is biological evolution. And step 3 is cognogeny that is diversification of organisms. Now, chemogeny that is chemical evolution. The first non-cellular form of life, polysaccharide, RNA, protein, etc. originated 3 billion years back. Initially, Earth was in form of solid mass that is without hydrosphere and atmosphere. So, there was nothing absolutely, just a solid mass of Earth was present. Water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide and ammonia released from molten mass and covered the surface. So, Earth was in fo form of solid mass. Volcanic eruption occurs which caused release of molten mass which contains water vapor H2O. Methane CH4, carbon dioxide CO2 and ammonia NH3. Just remember these four names. It's very important from the from your examination point of view. So it is water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide and ammonia. 
UV rays from sun split water vapor into hydrogen and oxygen and lighter hydrogen ex escape. So H2O, so UV rays splitted H2O into H2 and O and H2 escape because it is lighter. Oxygen combined with methane ammonia to form several nitroxides, water, ozone etc. So the O from the splitting combined with uh, methane ammonia and it formed various nitroxides and ozone layer was also formed. But molecular oxygen was not formed thus primitive atmosphere was reducing. Molecular oxygen that is O2 was not formed and thus primitive atmosphere was reducing. Just remember it is very important that our primitive atmosphere was reducing because there was no O2 but presently the atmosphere is oxidizing. Sometimes question is asked in your AIMS examination and assertion and reason. Suppose our assertion would be life could not be originated at present times and the reason may be because the atmosphere is oxidizing. So it is true because there was primitive atmosphere back then that's why the origin of life was possible. Molecules reacted to form more complex molecules and energy came from electrical discharge produced from collision of clouds and UV rays. So condensation, uh, so molecules, the reaction molecule, the rea uh, molecules reacted to form complex molecules and the uh, energy for these reactions came from collision of clouds and UV rays. Continued condensation reaction caused torrential rain to fill all the depression of earth to form oceans. So uh, condensation of clouds occurs which cause torrential rains and this cause formation of oceans. Temperature of water is very high. So the water present in these oceans, the temperature of it was very high. Condensation reaction is continued in water causing formation of biomicromolecule and polymerization of which cause formation of biomacromolecule. Haldene called this saturated water of oceans as prebiotic soup or hot dilute soup. So Haldene called it prebiotic soup or hot dilute soup and uh, Darwin called them as warm little pond. So this is picture depicting our chemical evolution. So this is solid earth, no hydrosphere, no atmosphere. Volcanic eruption occurs, cause released of molten mass which contains methane, ammonia, water vapor, CO2. Now the water, uh, the UV rays from sun splitted water H2O into H2 and O. O reacted with these uh, gases and formed various nitroxides and ozone layer was also formed. So uh, uh, this, these gases condensed and causes for torrential rains and thus the oceans was formed and the rea and the energy for reactions come from electrical discharge by collision of clouds and UV rays. Now condensation reactions in water cause formation of biomicromolecule like amino acids, simple sugar, nitrogenous base, phosphate, fatty acids, glycerol and their polymerization cause formation of proteins, then nucleotide, poly uh, polysaccharides and DNA, RNA and so on. So uh, that's all for chemical evolution. That's how chemical evolution took place. So that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.